Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw this semin oblique. If you see this, they have given front view and right hand side view. Right? And if you see carefully, right hand side view is on the right side. So it's a third angle sum. But what we need to focus, we need to focus on origin. See this. So we'll mark 56 and we'll write origin on the right side. So the 45 degree, that receding angle will go on right side. So you will automatically get right hand side view on right side. See front view is here, right hand side view will be here. So this is 45 and height is 70. So first we will complete the box. See, after completing the box, there are two parts, part 1 and part 2, over here part A and B, and C. So we'll start with front view, with part 1, because it is nearer to us. So we'll take 14 on both the sides. Then we'll take height 50. Then you take midpoint and cut 8 8 on both the sides. So we got the first part. Now whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. With that concept, we'll take every point behind by 45. See this. So first part is done. Now for the second part. If you see part sec part two is behind. How much it is behind? 45 minus 30. So it would be 15. So it is on both the sides. So it will be divided by 2. See this. 15 divided by 2 would be 7.5. So what we need to do? We need to take 7.5 from ahead. So on this line, we'll mark 7.5 from behind and 7.5 from ahead. See total we need to remove 15. So I'm removing 15, uh, 7.5, 7.5 and then I'm drawing that line. So this is from part 2 will start from here. So this is 56, you take half, which is 28 and 
this is the center point then we need to take 17 17 on both the sides then first we will take radius 10 then we'll take 17 17 on both the sides then we'll go down now see this height is not known to us if you see this height we don't know which we need to find out this is very important so what we'll do we'll go inside by 7.5 Here also you mark 7.5, so it would be easier to draw a parallel line. So I'm drawing parallel line. Now wherever it will cut with that parallel line, that will be the point. See this. Then you take this behind, how much you have to go behind? 30. This also you have to go behind by 30. All the points you take behind by 30. After that you can take that center point also behind by 30 and you can again draw radius 10. See this, this is point P. So from P you go behind by how much? 30 that is Q and from there you can draw radius 10 After this, you can do dimensioning and you can write 45 degree. Thank you.